This is a demo of the Synthesis Technology E430 Morphing State Variable Filter. This Eurorack module is modeled after the classic Oberheim SEM filter, and it includes some new features that really make it much more than a strict clone. I should state up front that the module I'm demonstrating here is a beta unit. The final production units will have a different front panel, and the response of the resonance control will be slightly different, based on the findings from the beta program. Nonetheless, this unit should be representative of the sound and behavior of the final production models. E430 is a two-pole, 12 decibel per octave state variable filter. The E430 has two audio inputs. E430 has outputs for low pass, band pass, notch, and high pass. It also has a morph output, which morphs from low pass to high pass, with the intermediary state switchable between band pass and notch. For me, the morphing feature is what makes this filter really interesting and unique. E430 has a 1 volt per octave control voltage input. The E430 has two more control voltage inputs. FM1 is on a reversing attenuator. This allows you to invert and attenuate the CV signals. The FM2 input is a straight attenuator.
The resonance and the morph are also VC controllable. Both the resonance and morph knobs act as attenuators when something is plugged into their respective CV inputs. filter, but like the original SEM, it can't be driven into self-oscillation, at least not without some extra patching. It is possible to drive the E430 into self-oscillation by patching one of the filter outputs back into one of the audio inputs, creating a feedback loop. Here are a few examples of patches I've done with the E430. Wow, 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 wow,
like this filter. It has a pretty unique sound, but it can be subtle enough to allow it to blend really well with other synth voices in a mix. It's a very versatile module, it sounds great, and it has a very wide range of musically useful settings. If you don't have a lot of other filters in your rack, the multiple outputs and morphing feature will really give you a range of sonic options. I've been a fan of Paul Schreiber's work for synthesis technology since the late 1990s when I started building his 5U MOTM series of modules. That was my first serious modular synth, and I still use it all the time. It's great to see that Paul has come out of retirement to design new modules. The E430 is a wonderful addition to his catalog, and it will be a major source of inspiration for years to come. Huge thanks to Synthesis Technology for allowing me to beta test and demo this module. <laughs> 